As muscles contract, they pull on tendons, which in turn pull on bones. This creates force and movement. There are three types of contractions, isotonic, isometric, and isokinetic. This seems like a pain to memorize until you give some thought to what the words mean. Iso means equal. So when we categorize our muscle contractions, we name them according to what stays the same throughout the contraction. We measure three things as we categorize contractions. Tension across the muscle, the length of the muscle, and the amount of energy required by the muscle. In isotonic contractions, the muscle tension stays the same. The length of the muscle changes as the muscle contracts and pulls on the bone. The amount of energy required by the muscle may change, but the tension across the muscle stays the same. If the force the muscle is producing is greater than the opposing force, the muscle shortens. This is called a concentric contraction. If the force the muscle is producing is less than the opposing force, the muscle lengthens. This is called an eccentric contraction. So if this biceps muscle is being used to do curls, energy goes into the muscle to cause it to contract and pull on the tendon, which pulls on the bone. On the way up, the muscle force overcomes the weight of the dumbbell. This is a concentric contraction. On the way down, the muscle is still contracting and creating force to oppose the dumbbell. If it didn't, the arm would just fall with the weight of the dumbbell. But the weight of the dumbbell is overcoming the force created by the muscle, and the muscle lengthens. This is an eccentric contraction. So isotonic contractions are the regular weightlifting contractions that we normally think of. Concentric isotonic contractions occur as the muscle overcomes the opposing force and shortens. Eccentric isotonic contractions occur when the force created by the muscle is less than the opposing force and the muscle lengthens. In isometric contractions, the muscle length stays the same. The tension across the muscle may change and the energy required by the muscle may change in order to maintain the length, but the length stays the same. Think of the metric system being used to measure length. Isometric maintains an equal length. If this biceps muscle wants to maintain a constant length, it may require more tension and more energy depending on how much weight is added. But the length stays the same and the bones the muscle is pulling on don't move. Doing pull-ups requires isotonic contractions. The invisible chair requires isometric contractions. The pull-ups are a dynamic exercise where there is movement. The invisible chair is a static exercise where there is no movement. In isokinetic contractions, the energy required by the muscle stays the same throughout the contraction. The tension across the muscle may change and the length of the muscle changes, but a constant amount of energy is required. Isokinetic contractions are the most effective at building strength, but special machines are required to allow for isokinetic exercises. When a simple dumbbell is lifted, the energy may change throughout the contraction to maintain the same muscle tension. Isokinetic contractions can also be either concentric or eccentric.